Today on our 2007 Chevrolet Express van, we're going to be installing the Kurt Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number 13040. Now here's what our hitch looks like installed on our vehicle. Now we'll go ahead and give you a couple measurements in helping you choose some accessories for your hitch, such as a ball mount, a bicycle rack, or a cargo carrier. From the top of the opening in the receiver to the ground is approximately 15 and a quarter inches. From the center of the hitch pin hole, to the outermost edge of the bumper is approximately four and a half inches. Now let's go ahead and install our hitch. Now let's go ahead and begin by pointing out the mounting locations that we'll be using. There will be a total of six mounting locations. We'll go ahead and start over here on the driver's side. We'll be using this hole right here, this hole right here, and this forward hole right here. Now over here on the passenger side, we'll again be using the two rear holes, so this one here, as well as this one. Now for the forward mounting location, we'll be using this hole here. Now the hardware that we'll be using for all six mounting locations is the same. We'll be using a half inch carriage bolt, a square hole spacer block, and a half inch flange nut. Now let's go ahead and install our hardware into the frame of the vehicle. Now it's a good idea to get an extra set of hands to help you raise the hitch up into position. Once the hitch is up into position, you can go ahead and loosely install all the six flange nuts. Now that you have all the hardware loosely installed, we'll go ahead and tighten it down. and then we'll torque it to the manufacturer's specification. And that'll do it for our installation of the Kurt Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number 13040 on our 2007 Chevrolet Express Van.